Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate single item index numbers or price relatives. So an index number is a single figure summarizing a comparison between two sets of figures. It's used to compare quantities like the price of a commodity in the past year that is called base year and the price of the same commodity in the current year. Now the base year is the year against which all other years are compared. The base year is taken to be equal to 100. And this is because in many ordinary day-to-day -day comparisons, 100 is used as a base, percentages being the most obvious example. So the current year is the year for which the index is to be calculated. So we shall go to our topic, single item index numbers. They are sometimes called price relatives. So if PC denotes the price of a certain quantity in the current year, and PB denotes the price of a certain quantity in the, of the same quantity in the base year, then price relative is given by the formula PC, which is the price in the current year, over PB, which is the price in the base year, times 100. Note that there is no percentage here, it is just a number 100. So this is the formula I shall be using in this today's tutorial to calculate the given problems. So problem 1, in January 1986, the price of a packet of biscuits was shillings 3000. And in 1987, the price had increased to shillings 5400. Using 1986 as the base year, determine the price relative of a packet of biscuits in 1987. So we are given two prices. One is the price of 1986 and the other is the price of 1987. So when you look at the question, they told us using 1986 as the base year. So that helps us to identify the base price. So 1986 is the price of the base year. And it, since this is the price of the base year, this one is automatically the price of the current year. So price relative will be given by the formula. Price of the current year over price of the best year, which is 1987 over 1986. So the price of 1987 is 5,400 and the price of 1986 is 3,000. So when you substitute and multiply by 100, you'll get 180. So that will be the answer they wanted, the price relative. And it, is, and it does not have any percentage like I told you. Problem 2. The average prices of bananas, milk, and meat were as follows in 2014 and 2015. So these are the items, bananas, milk, meat, and these are the prices in 2014. These are the prices in 2015. They want us to calculate the price relatives of these commodities for 2015, taking 2014 as the base year. So in this case, 2014, the prices in 2014 are the prices of the base year. And the prices of 2015 are the prices of the current year. Now, if therefore the price relative for bananas will be 5,000, which is the price in the current year, divided by 3,000, which is the price in the base year, multiplied by 100, as shown here. The answer you get will be your price relative to two decimal places. For milk, the price in the current year is 800, and the price in the base year is 700. So, we shall say, 800 divided by 700 divided, multiplied by 100. So we shall get 114.29. That will be the price relative for milk. For meat, the current price is 2000 and the base price is 2500. So we shall say 2000 divided by 2500 multiplied by 100. We shall get 80 and that will be the price relative for meat. So that's what they wanted for that question. Problem 3. There are four grades of workers in a certain factory. The table below shows the average weekly wage in pounds of a worker in each grade in 1978 and in 1988. The final column shows the price relative of these wages in 1988, taking 1978 as the base year. So in this case, 1978 is our base year. Meaning these prices are the price of the base year, and these are the prices of the current year, and these are the price relative. So that means that this divided by this will give you, this divided by this, multiply, 
the answer you get when you multiply it by 100, you'll be able to get this. So they want us to find the values of x, y, and z. So shall begin with x. x is the price relative for grade 2. The, pr the current price for grade 2 is 285 and the base price is 150. So shall come here and say for grade 2, x will be equal to the current price which is 285 divided by the base price which is 150, everything multiplied by 100. The answer you get will be 190. So that will be the value of x. When you come to y, y is the price in 19. 78. So we shall say the price value which is 200 is equal to the current price which is 350 divided by the base price which is y. Everything multiplied by 100 as shown here for grade 3. 200 is equal to the price of 1988 over the price of 1978 divide everything multiplied by 100. So this will be our 200, 350 divided by y times 100. So when you make y the subject, you'll be able to come up with 175 as a value of y. Go back now, we want to get z. z is the current price, the price of 1988. That means that 250 is equal to the current price, which is z, divided by the best price, which is 170, everything multiplied by 100. So shall come here and say for grade 4, 250 is equal to z over 170, everything multiplied by 100. When we make z the subject, we shall be able to come up with 425, which is our value of z. So in that case, we have answered the question, you have got x, you have got y, and you have got z. That brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel, ROA eLearning Platform. I remain Ronald Walgada. Thank you.